I remember back in the summer of 2019, Peak Design announced that they were working on a travel tripod. This thing right here. I remember being so excited in fact that I actually pre-ordered one on their Kickstarter campaign. And now it's been over a year since I've been actually using this tripod extensively throughout all my last day of photography shoots and I'm ready to give my full review on the Peak Design travel tripod. What's up guys, it's a Project Photography, back in the video, and today people, today. So I actually filmed this first part of this video yesterday, but then I realized the audio was messed up. What's up y'all, it is the Project Photography, back in the video, and today people, today. Don't know how that happened. But anyways guys, we are doing the first year review of the Peak Design Travel Tripod. It's an incredible tripod I've used for over a year now. I made my first impressions a while ago back in last January, I wanna say. So it's been a good while and I've had a long time to actually use and test this tripod out. Now for me personally, I've always had a hard time picking out a tripod. I don't know why, it just seems so complicated to me. Uh, and there's just so many things you have to look at even though it's such a simple device to use. But when the P-Design Travel Tripod came out, I just knew that this was the tripod that I wanted. And for the longest time, you know, I've been looking for that perfect tripod. I feel like this was it. So I put it through its paces over this past year, going from everywhere, from the mountains to the snow, to the beaches and the sand, and just putting it through its paces. And I think I'm finally make my entire first review about it. Now there's gonna be three main parts that I look at when it comes to this tripod. First one is gonna be simplicity and ease of use. Second one is gonna be intuitiveness and design. And the last aspect that I think a lot of photographers are gonna care about is longevity and sturdiness. You know, when you're out using a tripod, you wanna make sure it's a workhorse, it works just the way you want it to. And I think those are three main aspects that really sell out the Peak Design Travel Tripod and the reason why I love this tripod so much. So let's jump right into the review, get back onto the field, not inside my studio, and talk about and give my first year review of the Peak Design Travel Tripod. So let's talk about one of my most favorite features about this tripod and it's just that it's so simple and easy to use. Like a three year old could use this tripod. That's how easy it is to use. I'd be a little bit of an exaggeration, but when I'm out in the field shooting landscape photography, the last thing I wanna be thinking about is, oh, how am I gonna control my tripod or like move it around? I've had a lot of other tripods and they just, they're all really complicated for some reason. Like it doesn't feel like they should be that complicated. Like there's three knobs that do one thing or do another and it's just you have to constantly think about what you're doing with the tripod. With this Peak Design Travel Tripod, you don't have to do that. It's pretty simple and easy to use. This knob right here simply just moves this lever uh, or this center shaft up and down. We have a locking mechanism so when you actually put in the camera in here, it locks. And then you just have this one ring which simply turns around the entire tripod. So when I'm out there in the field, I don't have to really think about what I'm doing. I just turn this knob right here if I want to control it or lock it or whatnot. And it's just really simple and I like that. I don't have to be constantly thinking about what I'm doing and I can focus on my photography. Now I do have one gripe that I have about this actual ball head. It's just that there's no sort of like indication as to how tight it is or how much friction there is. It's just one plain black piece of metal and now I have a reason, I have a problem with that because if I'm putting heavier loads on this, like if I'm using my Nikon and I have my monitor and then my mic on it, I want it to be as tight as possible and I don't know how tight it is exactly. That's one thing I really would like to see change on that. But overall, this ball head is really nice and easy to use and it fits really nice and flush like that. I really like that. Um, and overall, it's just a simple tripod to use. A three-year-old could use it and that's what I really love about it. So let's jump on to the next part which is how intuitive the design is. So let's talk about intuitiveness and design of the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Now this is an area that Peak Design has always excelled in, everything from their everyday backpack to their slings, just every product they make has a really nice intuitive design. This tripod follows suit with that. So there's a few things I really wanna point out and the main one I really wanna talk about is these clamps here. Now, I know this is a pretty simple thing, but I love clamps way more than I do those twisting lock things. The twisting lock things on the legs make it look cooler, but when it comes to practicality, 
clamps are definitely better because first of all, you can actually see when they're locked and when they're not locked or how tight they are and whatnot. With the twisting locks, you can't do that. Plus, these are way easier to actually set up and use. I'll show you an example of me using the P-Design travel tripod setting it up versus actually using the twisting locking mechanisms. And you can see the P-Design travel tripod is far, far faster. Another aspect I really want to talk about is just they've added a lot of unique features to this tripod. Like there's a low mode, there's an inverted mode with the tripod, and they included this cool little, I guess it's a phone mount for you when you're able to actually like mount your phone on there. Now, I didn't think I'd actually be ever using that, but when it actually came to this tripod, I actually use it quite a bit. Um, it's pretty funny because I'd use it with my family if we're taking like a group photo or something. I have the phone mount built right into the tripod and it makes it really nice and easy to use. Now, my favorite part when it comes to intuitiveness about this tripod is definitely how compact and small it is. Tripods are usually like massive when it comes to like bulkiness and width. Now the legs might be skinny, but when it comes to actually putting it in your bag, it can definitely be a hassle. And that's where I think this tripod is really standing out above the rest. If you take one thing away from this video, just know that the compactness of these legs actually makes a huge difference. Just look how flush that ball hit is with the actual tripod itself. It's really nice when it comes to, you know, storing it and whatnot. There's not extra length to it. And look at this diameter. That's absolutely tiny. They said in terms of diameter, it's about as big as a water bottle, which is crazy. So when I'm actually like hiking around with this in my bag, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And that's really important because when it comes to last day photography, you want to use as much space as possible. Every inch of space counts. And with this tripod, you really don't have a problem with that. Now I do have the aluminum version. I'd much rather have the carbon fiber version. That thing is like 600 or something dollars. I don't know, it's really expensive. But this aluminum one just does just fine if you're wondering about that difference. So just overall, the design of this tripod is really nice. I mean, the compactness, being able to fit in my bag wherever I go is really important. When I'm traveling on a plane, it doesn't take, to, take up too much space. On a hike especially, it doesn't take up too much space. And for a tripod, I just want it to work in the best ways possible. I just want it to hold my camera. It's a pretty simple device. And they've really cut down a lot of corners here and made sure that this tripod is as uh, slim and fit as possible. And comparing it to other tripods, it, you can definitely tell the difference. I've traveled with other tripods that are kind of bigger and bulkier. And this tripod definitely makes it feel much easier to travel with. And it's something that you would really want to take out when you're going around. Now there's a few cool other things when it comes to this tripod. They actually have accessories that you can use with this tripod. They have uh, one accessory where it's essentially just like spikes at the bottom. You take off the legs kind of, like you take off this entire portion. You just have these like spikes at the bottom. It's called an ultra conversion kit. That's the one th great thing I like about this set of tripods as well, is that there's other features that you can have onto it and add. And I don't see any other camera manufacturer really doing that. That's why I think this tripod really does great and stands out above the crowd when it comes to those sort of features. So the last, and I think one of the most important aspects of this tripod is sturdiness. So let's talk about the next part. So let's talk about the last and final aspect of this tripod and it is longevity and sturdiness. And I think a lot of photographers, especially landscape photographers, wanna look for a tripod that's gonna last them for decades upon decades. And with this tripod, you know, I've been using it for the past year, so I can't say how it's gonna be, you know, five or 10 years down the road. But what I can say is this, is that it really held up well when I put it through a lot of these rough conditions, such as through sandy beaches, water, um, strong winds, it just survived all of that. And a reason why I think this is good long-term and a feature that I don't think they really like talk about, but I think is important to this tripod is the fact that you can take apart these legs. So w this is really important because when I'm out in the beaches, especially when I was dealing with sand and water, I want to be able to take apart these tripod legs and clean them out thoroughly because lots of sand and water gets in them. It's going to lead to rusting. It's going to lead to, you know, tripod legs not working as good as supposed to be, not as smooth. So I can take apart these legs, clean them out, put some WD-40 on them, as well as some Loctite. And it's going to be just as good as new. I think that's a really big part for me because in my last couple of tripods, they didn't last too long because I wasn't able to take apart the legs, wasn't able to clean them thoroughly. So it was just a mess to deal with when I got back from the beach and stuff. But with this tripod, you don't have to worry about that. I can just go ahead and clean it out. Now it is a long, lengthy process to actually clean it out. It takes me around like two hours to completely clean out the tripod legs and put them back together. But it's worth it if you want to keep your tripod nice and clean and, you know, protect it in the long term especially. So I think that main aspect is what really separates this tripod apart from others. I haven't seen any other companies 
please be able to do that. Now, I'm not advising you to do that. I mean, I, this, I'm just saying what I do. Um, they do have a tutorial on the YouTube channel as to how to take apart the legs and whatnot. But I think that's a really important aspect of this tripod. Be able to make sure you keep it clean, take care of it in the long term. Now, everything that I've been using in terms of all the mechanisms here, it stayed, uh, it stayed together pretty well. I do have some scratches on the actual aluminum, as you can see. But I mean, that's fine. It's just purely cosmetic. Now, another part of the tripod that I really like is that you can take, you can actually adjust, you know, how tight you want these actual um, levers to be. And that's really cool. You can also tighten up like these parts, these hinges right here. So it's really customizable. You can make it as tight or loose as you want it to be. And that's just gonna be able to lead to a much more sturdier tripod in the long run. So yeah, I'm actually very confident that this thing's gonna hold up in the long run. Everything is looking great and perfect. Just as when I bought it, except, you know, there's a few scratches here and there because, you know, I beat the crap out of my stuff. But overall, it's a pretty good tripod. I'm very happy with it so far in terms of long-term longevity. I guess we'll have to wait another five years to actually make a comprehensive, uh, I guess, assessment of how sturdy it is. So overall, in the long term, I think this tripod is going to do well, especially be able to take care of it and clean it and take it apart and whatnot. So let's get to my final conclusions about this travel tripod. It is now time for conclusion time. And as you guys can probably tell in this video, I just love this tripod. It's so good. Everything it does, it does really, really well. The experience of using this tripod is definitely enhanced because of the fact it's so simple to use. It fits onto your bag really nice and snug and it's just nice and compact. And I really love that about this tripod and a reason why I feel like this tripod stands above the rest. Plus on top of it, I don't have to think when I'm using it and that's a big thing when I'm out in the field. You know, I can focus on my photography, my gear gets out of the way and I can focus on creating amazing photos. So who is this tripod for? Honestly, if you're in the market for a new tripod, you can't go wrong with this. Even though it was a little pricey at $350, I see it as an investment because this is something that you're gonna be able to carry on for a long time. Plus, Pete Design has an incredible um, lifetime warranty. So as long as you own this product, you're able to repair it, service it, and just take care of your products overall. So I love this tripod to death. I've had it for over a year and that is my one full year review of using this tripod. So if you guys are interested in one, go ahead and go over to Pete Design's website. Uh, you can check it out there and whatnot. So anyways guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, if you like the content, go ahead and give it a like. I'm also selling my prints down in the description bar below if you are interested in one. Anyways guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.